This is Win News. Tonight, the Nationals hold talks with independents as the party meets for the first time since the election. Counting the cost, the hung parliament hits hotels hard, but will it help attract tourism? And ANU's world-leading research could frogs hold the key to fighting malaria. Good evening, I'm Danielle Post. The Nationals have finally arrived in Canberra as the coalition attempts to secure a government-forming deal. The three independents expected to hold the balance of power are all former members of the country party, but left the political organisation after falling out with its leaders. Still to come on Win News, the mission to improve the tenderness of meat and make it easier to cook. And tertiary education institutions join forces pulling out the big guns to lure in prospective students. A new state-of-the-art research facility is set to help the Territory attract social and economic policy experts from around the world. The University of Canberra has unveiled its $11 million International Micro Simulation Centre. Lachlan with Sport Next and Mark Webber has some trouble in Belgium. It wasn't pleasant watching last night, Danielle, at all. He's still, though, in the hunt for the Drivers' Championship. That's the good news. Details straight after the break. And scans confirm Raiders' captain Alan Tung is down, but he's certainly not out. Local Formula One driver Mark Webber has finished second overnight in the Belgian Grand Prix. The Queanbeyan-born Red Bull driver had a horrible start, his car going into anti-stall costing him five spots before the first turn. And there is good news for Canberra fans. Wind Television will be broadcasting the Raiders-Broncos game live on Friday night. The match is one that will determine this year's top eight and it does kick off at 7.30 on Win. The game between the Titans and West Tigers will now be shown at 9.30 for all Southern New South Wales viewers. And that's the weekend of sport. Danielle, doing a great job. Oh, thank you. Yeah, see thank you tomorrow. You, Lachlan. See you tomorrow. Weather is next. Then students put on their show shoes for a performance spectacular on the coast. A picture-perfect Monday in the capital after a warmer and sunny weekend. Everyone was out and about yesterday enjoying the mild conditions. A hike or ride up Mount Stromlo was the way was on the agenda for many Canberrans. Our cameraman captured these images at sunset. Mostly sunny in the capital today, 3 to 14 the range. Right now at Canberra Airport, it's a cool 5 degrees. On the southern tablelands, a fine day after some early frost cleared, 14 the high for all centres. Goulburn dipped to 3 and Yass 1 overnight. On the coast, mostly sunny with some light winds around, 16 the maximum across most spots except for Bega. Now we're down to 6 overnight. On the peaks, clear skies. Cooma fell to minus 3 and managed 11. Minus 7 to to seven the range at Perisher, Threadbow got down to below six. Some patchy low-level cloud over southeastern Australia, but it's not producing any rain. Cloud over WA and into the Great Australian Bight is associated with a trough and generating isolated showers. They're mostly clear skies elsewhere. Cloud should increase during the middle of the week as a cold front approaches the southeastern states. This front is expected to produce some rain on Thursday with a clearing trend for Friday. A second more significant system will bring further rain during the weekend. Cloud will increase along the south coast tomorrow. The Bureau is predicting nor northwesterly winds and fresh afternoon breezes. A top of 21 degrees expected for most centres. Tomorrow on the southern tablelands, mostly sunny after early frost patches and light to moderate winds. Freezing in Queanbeyan tonight, reaching a high of 16. A cold one on the snowy mountains. The mercury should dip to minus 7 degrees in Perisher tonight. A frosty start tomorrow, clearing to a sunny day. Sunny in the capital tomorrow with variable winds. It should reach a high of 16 degrees. The sun should set around quarter to six. Looking ahead, some rain and plenty of cloud cover. 17 the top for Wednesday with some late rain developing, cooling down a little on Thursday to a top of 14. Finally tonight, proud parents from all over the region headed to Wollongong on the weekend to watch local public school students sing and dance in the performance spectacular Southern Stars. 
And that's Win News for this Monday night. If you have a news tip you'd like to share, you can email us at cantips at wintv.com.au. I'm Danielle Post. On behalf of our news team, have a good night. This has been a Win News presentation from Win Television, Australia's largest commercial television network.